And so I want to just share something with you folks really, really quick. Now, citrus trees are pretty good at defending themselves. But many of you are going to find that you're going to find ants that crawl up the tree back and forth. Now, if I get down here closer to the base of the tree, I'm going to share something with you. Let's see if I can work them up here. There they are. You see that? See that? They climb up your citrus trees. And what they're doing is they're carrying aphids up to your citrus trees. The aphids are then going to go to work on your leaves, on the branching, and they're going to suck the juices from your citrus trees. When that happens, you're going to have a problem, especially if there's a heavy infestation. What do you do? I'm going to show you those aphids. I'm going to show you the clusters they create. The ants will actually protect them. Carry them up your citrus trees, and then once the aphids suck all the juices in the area that they want them, the ants will then take the aphids, and they will consume the aphids and take it back to their nest. Okay, how do you treat the aphids? Let me turn it around and show you what they look like first. So you want to go throughout your branching and your stems, and you'll notice everything looks pretty good. But occasionally you may have some weird, look like droppings. You go over here, you notice, see all that? That's aphids. Those are nothing but aphids. Let me take my finger and show you. There you are. See all the ants? There you are. So all of this in here has aphid infestation. And so you want to make sure you check your tree thoroughly. That's why I tell you folks, you got to come out and do your due diligence. You can't assume that everything is fine. So check your branchings, look all over. There's some more right there. Look at that. See that? That's aphids, very close. Let's get a closer look on here. You folks see that right there? Aphids, they're harvesting or harboring the aphids. So I'm gonna show you how to treat them. This is how you treat them. Monterey Horticultural Oil. Now, this controls aphids, mites, scales, white flies, and other soft-bodied insects. I've been using it for years. A lot of people will turn to BT for this. I wouldn't use BT on this. I'll use this. This is very effective. Now, before you use any sort of spray, remember this is O-M-R-I certified. See that right there? That means it's organic. But if you really want to go organic without using any other sprays, simply taking a powerful nozzle and spraying your tree down, these leaves right here, you could kill those aphids because they're soft bodied. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna spray them. Now remember, there's a timing. You must know when to spray your trees. You must pick the right timing. The air environment must be uh, good for the tree. In other words, it can't be overly hot, okay? And uh, you gotta remember, once you spray this tree, this type of spray, horticultural oils, actually interfere with the transpiration and perspiration of the tree when the tree wants to rid itself of excess moisture. Remember that. So I have my spray bottle already filled with this. This calls for one teaspoon per gallon of water. I got a two gallon, you know, put together. And I'm going to go throughout the spray. Let's go. So now I'm going to go ahead and treat the tree.
So the goal here is making sure you cover and saturate the entire leaves, the branches and the trunk of the trees. Now, ants can be a nuisance. And ants are normally not that bothersome. But when they're hungry, especially those sugar ants, what you're gonna get is they're gonna use every available space to go and store aphids and let the aphids do the damage. Then they're gonna come and take care of the aphids. Huh, sounds like a gang to me, right? Use your runners to go sell your drugs. But if your runners get out of hand, well, they just get eaten alive. Now I don't know if that sort of, um, you know, manifesto makes any sense to many of you. Truth be told, ants are nothing but a gang. That's why they call them colonies. <laughs> and ants are just, and aphids are just trying to get a little something to eat. They don't go to your trees. The ants actually transport them to your trees. Aphids prefer to eat green leafy vegetables, not your plants. But if you got them on your trees, you want to take care of them. Remember, this is a horticultural oil. You'll notice the oil is not like regular water. It's got the mix in there, so it makes it sticks to the leaves. It interrupts the respiratory system of the aphids. Get rid of the aphids, you get rid of the ants. Get rid of the ants, and you don't have to worry about aphids going up your tree. I got some for my ants. Now that I treated my trees, and I'll make sure I do this every seven days. Every seven days. When you spot aphids and they build that thick mucus of aphids, you want to make sure you get in there and take care of it and treat it every seven days. Okay? In the meantime, go ahead and get you some borax and some honey or borax and sugar. Mix it up. And you know your little red seedling cups you like to germinate your seeds in? You buy them from your big chain stores, the red cups. Go ahead and fill it halfway with your borax and honey and place them throughout your garden. For me, I'm gonna place them right next to the trunk of my trees. But don't let the cups touch your trees. Put them right there. The ants love the sugar. and They're gonna go and eat it and they're gonna transport uh, it right back to their colony. It'll kill them all because they share the food. Borax is very, very um, detrimental to ants. In fact, it places them on a suicide mission. I'll show you that in part two coming up and how I place these cups throughout my trees. Until next time, take care of yourselves.